those vegan guys. Thank you. There's the lovely husband with some very fetching purple blossoms behind him. Uh, we've come out for a walk here. It's it's reasonably near to where we live and we haven't been for a while. This is a very old sign though. Very, very old. You probably can't make it. Somebody's burned it, look. But it's very faded. Anyway, we're having a walk around the park. We thought you might like to see. So come on. Rebecca is. He did well, living until 76 in 1862. Nice. Lots of little paths and ways you can walk. In this park, years ago, if my memory serves me correctly, there used to be um, like a birdhouse, like a big, but unless I'm thinking of real. No, no it's so big. Did it, did it, I'm right, I'm I right. Don't, it, it, it might have been a birdhouse, I don't ever remember it being a birdhouse, I remember it being a, is it a, could they call it vivarium? No? Vivarium. What is it when it's just a greenhouse? Because that's what it is now. Uh, oh yeah. There it is. There it is, look. So is that basically what it is now, a greenhouse? Yeah. I mean, they keep it, they keep it all pretty pristine. really nice actually. May peace prevail on earth in Braille and Urdu and uh, many different uh, languages. Lovely. It really is, it's a beautiful park. We don't really come that much here anymore, but we used to cycle from here. And what's this, just a little seating area? Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, for like 10 years, this was the um, the home of Cycle Club Oldham. It was, wasn't it? That we ran. Um, and this was always our start-off point and end point. Oh, this is where our bikes were. Yeah. In a shipping container. Social distancing must be practiced at all times when in the building. And then we come into the uh, big open spaces, more statues. And there is actually a. Uh, will we walk past the paddling pool, Jason? Uh, no, because that's in the kids' play area. We've just walked past the kids' play area. Oh, it was just beyond the park, wasn't it? The, 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 the kids' play area is the park and then the paddling pool. Yeah. Maybe go to the top. Ah, the lion's den, actually. We've got another story about this place. Um, our other non profit organisation, Performance Plaza, we've, uh, which is still clinging on by a thread, bless it, in these times. This up there yeah. are, is. Um, we took part in Oldham Carnival a couple of years on in a row, didn't we? We did. And uh, we had a float, and we had the Lion's Den as um, our entertainment portal. I know. A trek. Not a hike. Not a walk, but a trek. No, it's more of a brisk walk, isn't it? Yeah. Who's this chap? Know this. Living in old. friend. Okay. The statue was erected by public subscription in 1903. MP for Oldham. All oh, right. There you go, Robert Ashcroft. Cheers, Bob. <laughs> so yeah, when it was the uh, carnival, this big field here like all of it, was covered uh, with um, entertainment and activities and it's pretty good. And we had, and it was quite significant for me this, because one of the only times that my dad took me out for a walk when I was a kid was here. And I remember sitting on one of these lines with him very significant day I remember vividly so when we were offered this place stand in the middle of the scale. yes when we were offered this place to represent go to the back to represent 
Performance Plaza. Uh, we were delighted to um, to use it as a performance space. So we had we had our uh, all our sound equipment in here. We might be able to find a photo. And we performed for the audience. All the audience were here, and uh, the kids. Some of the kids did drama, some scenes, uh, dancing, some comedy, dancing, musical performances. It was brilliant. And there's the lovely view from here down to the fountain down there. Lovely. Oh, did you say now? Yeah. That could have been the lion I sat on. And if it wasn't, of course, it was that one. Oh, I don't think you're not supposed to go this way, are you? Oh, yeah, the stairs. Nice. Now, this road up here is called Park Road. The one that runs alongside the park. Um, firstly, I knew a lovely theatre director called Brighton Howard that lived in one of the apartments there. And uh, he's, he's dead now bless him years but that was a link to park road and it was also exposed <laughs> in the news of the world as the location of a, a, a transvestite um what's the word somewhere men could go and dress up you know a bit like a whole house, but I'm not sure any sex was involved. Hey, birdie. That was a squirrel. Was it a squirrel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah from the top there, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Oh, I can just about make it out. No silhouette. Just jumping from tree to tree. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Oh, this is a nice. This, this is a nice path. Actually, we cycled down this, haven't we? Yeah. That's Park Road. There. There. Where the houses are. I came to see, um, they did one of those outdoor productions uh, in this park a few years ago. Um, a fantastic theatre company uh, in Oldham. Um, what was it called, Jason? It was, it was basically like Romeo and Juliet, wasn't it? It was Romeo and Juliet, uh, an interpretation, but I can't remember the name of the theatre company. They had police cars and police characters. It was modernised and um, uh, uh, I believe she was a, a Pakistani um, 
lead female and a Caucasian lead male and the last scene uh, was on the lake, on the boating lake, it's beautiful such a good production, it's one of those plays where you follow the scenes around you know, you, you watch a scene and then you move on to the next place with the with the um, the fork and the next scene starts oh, who was little Emma? Emma must have been a little flower girl because there's no other details just Emma lovely stairs oh that tree's gorgeous the old park keeper's house there and then we're coming up to the boating lake and uh, the bird pond boating lake on your right there and the bird pond on your left I think that cafe is open actually it is. Forks are outside having a brew. Good on them. We're going that way anyway. Are we? Yeah, we'll walk around the boat and like. Might as well take it all in while so we're there's the, uh, there's the bird pond. But we're going round by the boating lake. Look. Lots of ducks and geese and. Plenty on the island in the middle. Tennis courts. Mm. <laughs> Look at those beautiful geese. down the middle so we can see the boating lake on the right and the oh, yeah, on. bird pond on the, on the left. Side, hey? Cafe in there. Oh I could do I suppose. I wish people would pay attention to that. No bread please, grapes, peas, corn, oats, chopped lettuce or bird seed but no bread. It makes them ill. Brenda there. Seems like she's got a bit of an issue. You alright Brenda? She's got an issue with one of those. Oh Lucy's, Lucy's joining her. Susan's joining. Look at that now. All the girls going off in a huff. Uh, uh, oh, that's where we used to keep our bikes, by the way. In that shed there for quite a few years at first, wasn't it? It was in there for a short while and then it was in the toilet. We were in the toilets in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We stored them in the toilets for ages, didn't so we? So this is like the, the cafe, uh, the former boat house. It's 
a limited view this way, unfortunately. Um, we won't get to see the bird pond. Just this way. Yeah, we've already passed the bird pond by then. And we? Sometimes goes really high, doesn't it? Yeah. Not always though. Hello, Mr. Crane. How are you, darling? I think it's a crane. Looks like a crane. And a seagull. Lovely. Hello, good sir. Oh, oh, madam. Sorry, I shouldn't assume your gender. And this is uh, what, I mean, I call it the bird pond. I don't think it's necessarily called the bird pond. Um, but it's where a lot of the birdies uh, congregate here. Again, no bread, please geese and seagulls and ducks and so many of the congregate on that little island there and on that one over there and it seems to be a regular haunt for birds it's nice to show folk our local amenities yeah Sure is. It also reminds us of how lucky we are to have it on our doorstep. I know, right? I'm trying to not unceremoniously get lots of people in shot. Yes, you're being considerate of others. Yes. Yes. Bowling greens. Outdoor bowling greens there. Marvellous. Couple of giant rocks. I don't know why there are thick trees and though. I think uh, we all used to tell each other when we were kids that these were meteorites that fell in the park. Really? And that they'd just built stuff around 
you know, for me, come. There's uh, the lion's den we showed you earlier over in the top there. And the bridge there that we started walking from. Uh, another little, is that bowls as well there, Jason? Yeah, another little bowling area there. And nice picnic tables. Right, we're about to get back to the car, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Hope you've enjoyed this little joint around uh, Alexander Park with us. Jaunt. Jaunt. And, um. Do you want to say your goodbye? Because you've not been on the last time. No, because yeah. this is about the park, it's not really a. Okay. So, yeah, take care, everyone, and we'll see you again soon. Um, be excellent to yourselves and each other.